What's up, everybody? It's your boy Champagne Chico. We're back. And today we're going to be doing what needs to be done. <laughs> we're doing what needs to be done, and that is firing Josh McDaniels and rebuilding the Las Vegas Raiders. Not only are we firing Josh McDaniels, but since they're already moving on from Derek Carr, we will also be getting rid of Derek Carr, which I will assume I'm just kind of gonna make it a quick one on that well actually i'll wait till closer to the draft to do that but we'll figure that out as we go but we are going to get into this we're loading into week 10 hopefully we don't have much problems um i've been seeing a lot of issues going on with it but we are going to fire josh mcdaniels once and for all finally and we're going to replace him with the one and the only Cham Payne Chico. A great head coach pickup for the Las Vegas Raiders. Way better than whatever they have on their sidelines right now. Because that man cannot, will not have a career that works out because he just simply cannot do anything to save his life now with the Raiders having a lot of basically a lot of holes to be honest with you they're now in a QB situation that they don't want to be in they're trying to figure that out they have some offensive line issues their halfback isn't bad but Josh Jacobs seems to be on the outs which I'm not sure if I'll be able to re-sign him with the draft class that we've loaded in some of the top prospects could be in play, right? You have the top two QBs, obviously Bryce Young and CJ Stroud. We don't need wide receivers. Jalen Carter would be great. Will Anderson would be great. It's just you 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 can't pick wrong for the Raiders right now. You would prefer a quarterback or somebody that will make more of a difference, I would say. And it's just, you would really have to decide by the end of it what you're willing to do or how long you're willing to rebuild. And with somebody like Devontae Adams on your team, it's it shouldn't be something that you're going to be like, yeah, we're going to take our, yeah, we're going to take our time with this and figure it out as we go Devonte adams is not there to lose he's not there to not compete he left aaron Rodgers, who was consistently getting to the playoffs consistently losing in the NFC, nfc championship or to the 49ers and now he's on the raiders who have a dysfunctional group a head coach is, that is incapable of keeping a lead or coaching in general and just a team overall that doesn't seem to be all together. And now they benched Derek Carr. So they're going to have Stidham. Hopefully he's here. Yeah. They're going to have a 57 overall QB to finish off the season while everybody else is just waiting for the next season, basically. The holes on the offensive line is insane. 68 overall at right tackle. Left tackle is not horrible, but everything else is just abysmal. Josh Jacobs, obviously, on the last year of his contract. 99 overall, Devontae Adams. He's not getting any younger, which is something that they need to start looking into. Defensive line is just not there at all. They have great outside linebackers. But that's really about it. Everything else is just mediocre. And that's not a way to go about a team that you're trying to compete. You're trying to go to the Super Bowl because you make a trade like you did for Devontae Adams to do that. You got to the playoffs last year. You were competitive. You have a star tight end in Darren Waller. You basically just have to rebuild. And it's unfortunate because in real life, it's probably going to be Devontae Adams on the outs, which doesn't help them any more than right now. Josh Jacobs is probably signing with another team. We're going to try to keep him on the team. Darren Waller still here, injury prone, but still here. But yeah, 
we're really just gonna wait for the Derek Carr trade until closer to the drafts. I think we have our picks. We should have our picks. We're two and six right now since we're in the tenth week of the season. Oh. Never mind, actually. We have some players to possibly resign. One of them being Josh Jacobs. Now Week 10 was around the point that he was like picking it up a even more than he already was. He's like Austin Eckler. Not 2.0, but like 1B to Austin Eckler because he just runs through people now. His re-sign interest is medium. It would take a hit on our cap, which we would possibly need in the offseason. Um, there's a lot of QBs that are going to be available this offseason, so we could use any of them or draft for one. But I think keeping the core is our main priority. And it's just he's going to be asking for a lot of money. As probably dumb as it looks, I think the only way to be able to get him back is to do a trade like this, which is overpaying. But he can keep developing. He's 24. He's pretty young. By the time this contract ends, he'll be 31. We'll just let him go at that point. Honestly, we're not even probably going to get to that point. Let me let me try to get a little money back and do the player friendly because neutral. I'm not trying to test him. He's already kind of not that interested. I'm going to do player friendly six years. He'll be 30. Yeah, let's see if he takes this offer. Hopefully he does. This offer is perfect. I can't wait until next year. Okay, so we get Josh Jacobs back. Hopefully. Maybe the Raiders get him back in real life. Hope they keep being successful. These other players, I'm not too sure about. He's not. Bear, Perriman is not that interested. Might have to look for somebody else in that situation. Yeah, I don't see any other signings that we really should do. So, yeah. We'll just go to the offseason and see what we're going to do. All right, so now we are at the playoffs. Obviously, we did not make it, but we were 5 and 12, which is kind of similar to what it's probably going to be in real life right now. Um, they're about like at 6 and 6 and like 9, 6 and 10 right now. Um, they're not doing good. We can go ahead and scout some of the off the players that we have coming into this draft. Of course, still CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, the higher tier players, and really just the ones that we're kind of looking for right now. I would assume is the route that we're trying to take with this. If I'm not mistaken, I think we have two first round picks in this draft, but we will have to find out closer to the draft day. So let's go ahead and get to free agency and see who we can really pick up with the cap space that we have. So we are now here at free agency and we have a lot of team needs right now. We have 62 million to figure it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at what there is. I'm sure there are some open spots. Kareem Hunt's here. Strong safety would not. I would not be against having a good strong safety like Adrian Amos. That would not be bad at all. He's 30 though, so it would kind of have to be a smaller contract. But Jamal Dean, another solid player. Marcus Davenport. These And the players that we need are actually interested in us as well. So that's great for us. We could get... A lot of decent options. Devin McCourty has superstar X Factor at 36. Some nah, some somebody has to love Devin McCourty at the, at the Madden front office. So in the first stage of free agency, we have a total of five five offers, and they are Adrian Amos at strong safety. We do not have anybody at strong safety right now, so we could definitely use him. Hopefully, he chooses us. Jamal Dean. We're his best offer right now. 
He he's a great cornerback. Semi young. He could help us a lot on the defense. Marcus Davenport, right end, can go to the other side of Max Crosby when Chandler Jones is just too tired. Rankins, a cheaper defensive tackle than another guy that I was looking at. It's just we're kind of blowing a lot of money right now on these players. So Sean Murphy Bunting, another player that we're looking at. Hopefully all of them accept. But we'll have to see in the next stage of free agency. Hopefully, hopefully we get some. We signed Jamal Dean, Rankins, and Sean Murphy Bunting. Adrian Amos ended up going to the Cowboys. That hurts. That hurts. Marcus Davenport went to the Seahawks. Ah, that, that hurts a lot. But we got Jamal Dean, Rankins. So we got two solid cornerbacks right now. And we are also going to be going after John Ross III, a speedy option on the Raiders that doesn't get arrested. He he had one of, I think it just got beat by Thuan Thornton, but he had the fastest 40 time, and that would help a lot with, with whatever QB that we end up having in this upcoming season. Hopefully he accepts. So to sum up stage two of free agency, we have went after some of the one-year players that we could go after. We're at the top of all of their boards right now, but we went after Eric Rowe, Bulaga, which is just a bridge right tackle right now that could help us a lot. Deion Jones used to be a very bright young player. I don't know why he's such a low overall, but he would help our team a lot. Akeem Hicks, another bridge player. John Ross, the speedy option that can stay out of legal trouble. But I think that's the only offers that I can make right now with the cap space that I have at the moment. So we'll see which of them end up accepting the offers. All right, so we ended up signing Eric Rowe, Bulaga, Deion Jones, Akeem Hicks, and John Ross. So everybody that we offered a co contract to, they ended up signing. I feel like I'm missing somebody. No, actually, I'm not. I'm not missing anybody. Might have confused it with somebody that I was possibly looking at. Sterling Shepard is still here. We can make an extremely team-friendly offer here because he does not seem to be getting any offers. Three mil... Two mil on the signing bonus. Hey, man. Got to take what you can get. Are we his only offer right now? Oh, no. The Carolina Panthers. We don't need him too much. If he decides to go to them, that's okay. I'll live with that. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy. I hate to do this to you. It doesn't seem like you're liking a lot of the trades or a lot of the offers that you're getting offered right now. So let me let me give you one real quick. Well, one year. It's kind of insulting, to be honest. But, ah, oh, the Falcons. Yeah, I think that's going to be the end of our free agency. I was just kind of messing around with those. But decent decent ads um we should probably look at where we're gonna send Derek Carr so let's go ahead and see who's actually interested in Derek Carr right now uh so a team that has some some possibility of getting Derek Carr at QB is the Atlanta Falcons they have a difficult QB situation right now Desmond Ritter I don't think is gonna be their future necessarily um marcus mariota obviously isn't unfortunately i was a big fan of his um when he came into the league but they could be interested in giving us their first round pick for Derek carr i'm not sure yet so hopefully we can do this straight up right now because this pick would help us a lot it's too much for them it's too much for them Let's look at another team that 
would possibly be interested in him. The Commanders could be the Colts, in all honesty. Maybe the Colts give up their 13th pick for Derek Carr. I would not mind that at all. Maybe I can get a little more, like a second round pick. Let's see if they take that. They're not too enticed by it. Maybe a first and a third. First and a third. Still not enough for them. What if we gave you... Mm. Mm. Maybe just Derek Carr and a first round pick. I, I wanted to see if I could get some more. That's still not enough for them. I'll give you a uh, mystery relevant pick right here. You can get the next Brock Purdy. <laughs> you can get the next Brock Purdy by taking this offer. All right, Derek Carr, a seventh round pick that we probably were not gonna use for the 13th pick in the draft. Gives us another option of what to do. Possibly get a offensive line. We're still a little bit in the leeway of what to do with that. CJ Stroud, Brian Brees. We would just have to... Well, actually, now we have cap space again. I probably should have done this at the beginning of free agency. I didn't really see the need, I guess. I wasn't really focused on it, in all honesty. Um, hmm. Maybe we get Patrick Peterson here. A little one-year deal. Sure, he's not getting offered much by anybody else. We have a middle linebacker. Maybe we get another one. Yeah, all right. We'll go ahead and sim to the next day. See if we get those players after all and if not then we'll just go straight to the draft so now we are here at the nfl draft 2023 we ended up only getting one of those signings if you wanted to know it was um it was the middle linebacker not bad we could look at the roster real quick before we really get into the draft and have to start deciding what to do we obviously need a qb at some point Lineman would be great. If it comes about, it comes about. I'm not extremely focused on it this draft. Um, Cause, well, I, I just want to see if it's really worth it. I don't really want to waste a year of just like, oh, we could have done something with it, but we didn't, you know? So our defense looks pretty good on the cornerback position. Nate Hobbs, Jamal Dean, Keem Hicks. Solid defensive line, right end. It's star development, so maybe he picks it up a little bit, but we look pretty good. Chandler Jones is on the decline. Not too happy about that. A lot of bridge players. A lot of bridge players. So maybe look for the superstar players right now in terms of QB and the skill positions. And then we go about the other positions in the next draft if we really need to or if we don't already win the Super Bowl so now the Texans pick the Bryce Young from Alabama I was kind of hoping that he dropped and to be honest with you but can't really expect a generational talent in a smaller body to drop to the third pick but now, the Arizona Cardinals pick, Jalen Carter. Okay. A great defensive tackle. A great defensive tackle, but that that roots us into picking one of, if not, probably the rawest QB right now. He has some space to get better. We'll hope. We'll hope that he is the player to really get Devontae Adams his Super Bowl as we draft him at the third pick. Hit and development, 94 throw power, 79 speed, 80 change of direction, 84 acceleration. Ah, I hope he is the quarterback of the future for the Raiders. If they end up getting a top pick like this, Maybe they do go quarterback. I don't see any other quarterback situation for them at the moment. But we'll go ahead and skip ahead to the next user pick. I just wanted to see the first three. Brian Brees got picked right 
before us. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's... Ah. That's difficult. That's difficult now. We... Mm, we don't need Jameer Gibbs. We don't. Um, a lot of these are one to two round. Left outside linebacker would help since, you know, Chandler Jones is on the decline. What, what is like a scouting physical player who deletes for his bone cushion hits? His physicals, elite acceleration, elite speed. First in bench press at the NFL Combine. His broad jump was broad. Uh, the three cone drill was first at the left outside linebackers in his college pro day. Wow, I cannot speak. We don't need Anthony Richardson. Free safety could maybe use. I just don't really think it's a necessity at this moment enough to draft it at the 13th spot zion nelson i know that i said i wasn't really gonna look at these in this draft but ah he does not he does not look good he does not look good as a player yep we're gonna have to go with chandler jones replacement hopefully hopefully he's good normal development 91 acceleration, 86 speed, 82 strength. Ah, that might be a bust for us. That might not have been our best pick of the drafts here. Clark Barrington has a motor that runs through the whistle, shows good discipline, and won't get flagged much. Okay. Elite agility did not do very well in much. At the combine, except for vertical jump, broad jump, three cone drill. He's a fast one. He is definitely fast. That's for sure. I'll take a risk. I'll take a risk to getting him. Hidden development. Okay. Okay. 86 strength. 78 jumping. Don't know why that matters for right guard, but 86 strength is very important here. Out of BYU, Clark Barrington. It was a great pick in the second round. Um, I'm sorry. If I'm not mistaken, Hendon Hooker is not, I don't know what that is, to be honest. Kind of looks like Mexican, maybe. Maybe. Hendon Hooker... I don't know who made that model, but they did not do a good job at it. It looks like we need a left hand. Zach Harrison is an interesting pick here. Um, a block shedding. Elite acceleration. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and take Zach Harrison. He has hidden development. 90 acceleration. 88 strength. It's a great addition. Another hidden development player. Hopefully, they can somewhat come into fruition on the defense and on the offensive line. We got some hidden development on both lines. So, let's go ahead and get to the next pick. So, we are going to end up trading the rest of our picks to the Packers for their third round pick next year. I didn't see much use of using those late picks. It wasn't going to do much for us. All right, so now we are here at the beginning of season two of this rebuild. We have some solid additions to the team. Most importantly, we have a new QB in CJ Stroud. And a solid right guard. He's a 71 overall. Hopefully we can do something. If not, we have to look at the next free agency in the next draft. But I'm hoping that we can at least make the playoffs this year. But let's go ahead and go to midseason and see how the team ends up doing. At midseason, we are 5-1. and one. A great start. We lost to the Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes. But we're doing okay so far. This is midseason. I don't know why midseason for the NFL is week 8. But that's fine. Bright spots, I'm not getting too ahead of myself because it is the Raiders. Um, 
so possibly any of the players could get arrested or dropped at any point if they're a first round pick so i'll look at cj stroud towards the end of the season and see how he's doing but yeah we can just sim to the playoffs hopefully we're in it and cj stroud is performing with Devonte adams beside him and we are here at the playoffs we actually won the afc at 12 and 5 doing pretty good right now i'm hoping to see that cj stroud doesn't only have star ability he's at an 84 overall that's okay he could be better josh jacobs is on the up he is going up on the on the overalls right now he's a 94 overall 92 without morale barrington is a star so he could progressively get better zach harrison is also a star okay but the team overall is doing really good right now hopefully we can take the momentum into the playoffs especially beating the texans in the last week of the season but we can advance to the divisional championship and see who we're gonna face and it is the chiefs our kryptonite the kansas shit not the kansas shitty chiefs the kansas the kansas city chiefs wow i almost trash talked without even trying but in the fourth quarter the kansas city chiefs get another oh they're coming back oh the chiefs are coming back and they beat us 34 to 30. they beat us so quick i could even try to jump in to stop them we lose 34 to 30 to the kansas city chiefs Ugh, that sucks patrick mahomes almost had 500 yards on the day it must have been at the end too because that is insane cj stroud showed up but i guess the defense could not hold patrick mahomes back from advancing in the playoffs i think we can find some young pieces in this free agency center is a need it seems we have an f center nick bosa is here and we have 85 mil in cap not only is nick bosa there but so is justin herbert we don't need justin herbert Ah, but it wouldn't be nice to get him. It would definitely be nice to get Justin Herbert. Ah, that's a tough one. We got a lot of solid options over here. Just have to see who we end up trying to get. All right, so at the f end of stage one of free agency, we have offered contracts to Nick Bosa, which is a given. It would be insane on our team we offered everything that we could and he's very interested regardless jordan poyer older one year deal something to get a strong safety again but a bit better than eric rowe ed oliver a defensive tackle that we need younger could develop more but he's he would be good for us left tackle jedrick wills jr i was planning to switch him to right tackle since our right tackle is suffering and cj ham our fullback could use some work and i would not mind getting cj ham so hopefully in stage two we will have all those players signed and i will not have to worry about anything else i'm a bit afraid i'm a bit afraid right now we got nick bosa we got nick bosa who did we not get we didn't get jedrick woes so that was the one that didn't end up signing with us. But we got Nick Bosa, Poyer, Ed Oliver, and CJ Ham. Great additions. I think we just really have to look for another good tackle, maybe. Maybe even go after Kenny Moore. But I think tackle is really the way to go. Ugh. Ugh. Not them i might just have to worry about tackle in the draft even if it's concerning doesn't look like we got one of them i hope it's not jeff okuda i do hope it's not jeff okuda 
and we did not just oh we got jeff okudo we didn't get the lineman i think we're gonna keep the cap that we're at right now i'm not too convinced on any of these players i don't know why justin herbert is not getting signed right now i mean i literally am in negative cap if i try to offer him something yeah we're gonna end up keeping the cap that we have right now we're gonna go into the draft hopefully be able to find the pieces that we need um I want to see who Justin Herbert signs to because he only had one team interested. He went to the Giants. Oh, they gave him six years and 156 million. And 119 million bonus. What? That's possible? Well, anyways, as we look at our team right now cj stroud is our starting qb i wasn't going to give up on him so soon we have decent o-line that's going to be our focus in this draft for sure our defensive line is stellar it is stellar our defense in general is stellar we could really win a super bowl this season we could definitely win a super bowl this season i I can't imagine any other outcome. If we draft the correct players for the offensive line, I don't see why not. We are now in the NFL draft at our first round pick. And automatically there is a right tackle at the top of the board that we could possibly get. We could possibly get the right tackle. It would be ideal, to be honest with you. Um, the center seems to be a later pick, which I don't mind waiting on. I think the way that we're going to do it is we're going to get a right tackle right now, a center later on, and maybe the other positions if possible, but I think we are going to take Jake Singer at our first round pick. Elite change of direction, elite jumping as a right tackle all right let's see he has hidden development that is fantastic you love to see hidden development on the lineman because normal development on one is not going to help you at all this guy seems pretty good seems decent pass block is an a which we could use because it seemed like we could not get some in the fourth quarter against the chiefs so we're going to take him. Normal development. Not great. Hopefully the center is still there by the time we get into our next pick in the third round. Oh, no. Oh, we should have just gone with him. We should have just gone with the other one. This one doesn't look too bad, but I just don't have too much faith in him being a higher overall. A impact blocking. not the greatest not the greatest stats he's a power blocker ah, i don't think he's gonna be that good mm, that one hurts all right now we are in week one of season three now cox is a 63 that's not good um cj scrout has yet to develop any more we got a hidden development running back. I didn't even realize that. It's kind of just a blur after the first four rounds, but CJ Scroud hasn't developed anymore. That's concerning. We are here at the end of season three in the wild card. We did not win the AFC this time, but we have a better record than last season. Maybe we can actually have some momentum going into the playoffs instead of having a break. We're facing the Cleveland Browns in the first round that miles garrett i'm sure they still have Deshaun watson on their team hopefully he doesn't get arrested for it i could make so many jokes about Deshaun watson right now but we're more worried about the cleveland browns defense here all right it is zero zero almost at the end of the first but we got a field goal at the end of the first quarter hopefully we can keep the lead the Cleveland Browns score a touchdown. We answer back with another touchdown. We get the turnover and get another one. It's a tight game right now. 
It is a very tight game right now as the Cleveland Browns get another touchdown, tie up the game, and we get a field goal. We're going into the fourth quarter. We slow it down so the pass does not happen again. Hopefully, we can finish the game off. The Cleveland Browns get a field goal. Can we finish the drive off with a touchdown? And we get a field goal. There's a minute left for the Cleveland Browns to come downfield. 12-yard reception to Anthony Schwartz. A 49-yard touchdown by Amari Cooper. I need to jump in. I need to jump in. I need to get in the game. There's no way that just happened. A 69-yard touchdown. That's convenient for Deshaun Watson since he wanted that so much with the massage therapist. Hopefully, Devontae Adams can get out on this route. CJ Stroud stepping back into the pocket. Devontae Adams has space going downfield. Devontae Adams. Oh, man. One second now. We have one second on the clock. The offensive line was not holding up whatsoever. Oh, man. Oh, man. One second on the clock. Something needs to happen here. Something needs to happen here. We get hit on the throw. Oh, my gosh. Another one? We lose another wild card game. We lose in the first round again and we are about to go into our last season the Raiders must have a curse or something Chandler Jones has finally retired which means our cap space is looking glorious right now because man was he taking a cap hit on us we're gonna get into the first day of free agency oh wow what a tough playoffs but now we have to look forward. Left tackle David Bakhtiardi. Mm. I kind of, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I kind of sim past re signing the players. I hope we didn't lose anybody good right now. Okay, we still have our core. Hunter Renfro was the one that was probably somebody we should have re signed. Jeff Okuda has superstar X Factor. What did I say? What did I say? He was going to be able to develop more than Kenny Moore ever could have dreamed of in this game. Jordan Poyer. Okay, so Jordan Poyer's on the decline. We need a free safety, so he does not play both positions. Oh, man. Okay, so we need a wide receiver to a center. We need a center. That, that's a focus. Center is most definitely a focus. Okay. Let's try to let's try to make the best of this free agency right now. So on day one of free agency, we're trying to get a backup running back. Somebody that can be a three-down running back. Josh Jacobs is great at that. It's just I feel like he kind of gets gassed when the game goes on. Rondale Moore, hopefully we can get him as a steal on this as a wide receiver two for Devontae Adams and a center in Connor Williams. I'm hoping, hoping we can get all of them. Rondell Moore might be a stretch, but the other ones I'm pretty confident on right now. Oh, we did not go after free safety. We got Najee Harris. Rondell Moore is still debating. He's gotten more offers. Now I think because the wide receivers are kind of off the board. Free safety. Free safety is a it is a necessity right now. We might have to take back that offer on Rondell. In order to get Quandre Diggs on the team, he is 32 years old. Maybe he's more interested in, in us than the other teams. All right, so the two that we are going after on day two is Quandre Diggs and Paris Campbell. I'm expecting to get both of them, and I think after that, we're kind of going to be tight on cap space. And it's not really going to be an option for us to really do much else. Um, yeah, it looks like we got both. 
so that fills up the free safety and the wide receiver two wide receiver three situation yeah i'm pretty good with what we did this free agency Najee might be a good addition i hope it doesn't affect josh jacobs morale too much but wow josh jacobs is a 97 overall so Najee is not going to get a lot of playing time He's going to be a fullback more than an actual running back. If we don't win a Super Bowl this year, it, that, I don't know. I think that's going to be the end of that, to be honest, because I just don't see what else I can do. So I think this is going to be the only pick that really matters in this draft. Um, it's a bit questionable of a pick, but I'm thinking about changing our right guard to left guard, the right tackle to right guard. It just depends on what this ends up being he is hit in development so i will be changing my right guard to the left guard position my right tackle to the right guard position and then quincy's gonna go at right tackle i'm just trying to get a better offensive line but i think that's gonna be the only pick that really matters hmm another hidden development player i'm just trying to get a good center behind connor williams Maybe even replace Connor Williams and I can trade Connor Williams for a pick or another player. All right, we are in the final season of the Raiders, fran not franchise, of the Raiders rebuild. Super Bowl bust, man. There's no other choice right now. We have no other choice. We have all the pieces. We have all the pieces to perform. There's no excuses at all. Our players are getting older. We cannot pass up this opportunity to win a Super Bowl. But we'll just have to see how it goes. We're going to sim the season. Hopefully we make it to the playoffs and then we worry about the rest once we're there. We are now here at the end of the last season of the rebuild we're 11 and 6 we're facing the Bengals in the first round not the easiest first round but nobody said it was going to be an easy route we do have a lot of upgrades to the team i think cj stroud is a 90 overall with morale if any time is the time for him to perform it's right now josh jacobs is a 99 with morale our rookie wide receiver is performing I just see no other way right now. Starting off the game, going back and forth. It's a defensive game right now. Wow. 0-0 zero to zero at the end of the first quarter. We get the first touchdown. We get the second touchdown. They answer back with the touchdown of their own. We get a third. It is 21-7. to seven. It is 21-7, to 24-7. They answer with the touchdown. We get another field goal, 27 to 14. We've seen this before. We have seen this before. We need to finish the game off. We need to finish the game off. They get a touchdown and we answer back with another touchdown. That's gonna help tremendously right now. Oh, we got a turnover. We got a turnover. We're up by 21 now. And now they cannot do anything. We have won the wild card game. We're advancing to the divisional matchup. That could not have been a harder team to start off with. But it's a good way to start with CJ Stroud. 42 to 21. CJ Stroud had 302 yards and three touchdowns. Devontae Adams is still doing his thing. All right, we are now in the divisional matchup. The Buffalo Bills versus the Las Vegas Raiders. We keep facing difficult matchups, but wait. Josh Allen has 10 receiving touchdowns? That can't be for real. Why does Josh Allen have 10 receiving touchdowns? All right, whatever. 11 and 6 versus 10 and 6. We're at home. We have to perform. We have to advance to the AFC Championship here. 
now we are in the divisional matchup they start off with the field goal we answer back with one of our own they get a touchdown at the end of the first quarter it is a second quarter we get one back it is a back and forth game we get a field goal we get another stop 13 to 10 going into the half hopefully we can keep this game on our side they get a field goal they get a touchdown we got to answer back we have to answer back right now get a field goal oh we got to stop uh, but we couldn't do anything with it they're going downfield and they get a touchdown uh. oh man i think i'm gonna have to jump in here all right we are finally able to use cj stroud on our team and the <laughs> the many weapons that he has right now Devonte adams going across the middle a good nine yard gain there air Ooh, row with the corner route that was a great route by him and a great throw by cj stroud good route by row got to get out of bounds can't waste any more time right now we're down by 11. Devontae Adams with the touchdown. Let's go with possibly one of his last years in the league. He gets a touchdown and we're going for two. Oh, man. Could we possibly just go up the gut with Josh Jacobs? Oh, they were expecting it. And they get the stop. Oh, no. We have to get a touchdown now. First play for the Buffalo Bills. I don't see anything open for them right now. Nothing's open. Oh, no. I was there. I was there. Man, I was right there with Deion Jones. Oh, we have to get a stop. Josh Allen can make a horrible mistake at any point right now. Get the sack. Let's go. That's a loss of 17. A loss of 17. Second and 27. We're looking for anything here. I'm going to Darren Waller down the middle. Good gain. A good gain right there. Running no huddle. We do not have much time to be messing around. There goes Devontae Adams down the middle. A great gain. We're going to call timeout. We're not going to let them have the opportunity to make us fumble here. The running covered deep. Oh, Josh Jacobs almost came down with that. I was scared that that was going to be an interception. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was trying to lead it for Devonte adams he was open he was so open on that play ah that's a tough way to lose that's a tough way to lose but there was no open routes i had to get something off oh man we lose in the divisional again we never made it to doug i'm trying to mourn bro anyways CJ Stroud, 278 yards, two touchdowns. We lose by five, man. If we could have got that two-point conversion, we probably would have been set. I would not have taken more of a risk, but... Unfortunately, we do not end on a high note for the Raiders' rebuild. This could beat the route in this situation. Ugh. They just have a Raiders curse. I don't know what's wrong with them. It's almost like the Lions. But yeah. I fired Josh McDaniels, got rid of Daniel Car Derek Carr, and we were consistent playoff contenders. We had a lot of bright spots on our team, and yet we still could not get to the Super Bowl. It's unfortunate, but that's, that's the Raiders rebuild. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see. If you want to see another team get rebuilt, hopefully they actually win the Super Bowl, unlike the Raiders. But yeah, I will see you in the next video. Peace.